I'm Alan Lawrence of WonderTouch, and in this tutorial I'll show you a trick I discovered using Particle Illusion 3 that allows particles to create trails that eventually fade out. If you're familiar with Particle Illusion 3 at all, you probably know that it has a Don't Erase feature, which allows painting with particles. Although you can create some really interesting images and movies with this feature, it's fairly limited in usefulness since the particles never erase. Here's what an emitter looks like normally, with the screen being completely erased between each frame. Here's the same emitter with the Don't Erase option turned on. Although it looks cool at first, the screen quickly fills up with particles and turns mostly white, or the resulting movies look beautiful and dynamic while particles are still being created, but become lifeless and boring after particles stop moving. What I really want is something partway between the two, a way to partially erase the screen between each frame, but have the particles leave trails, resulting in a much more dynamic effect, like this. But how do you do that? Well, like a lot of other seemingly impossible activities, it's easy once you know how. We're going to erase the stage ourselves with particles. The key to the whole process is to turn off screen erasing by turning on Don't Erase, then using large, square, semi-transparent particles to erase the screen instead. There is a completed partial erase emitter in the November 2007 emitter library. To use it, just add it to a project and make sure it is underneath all emitters in the hierarchy. Drag it down to the bottom if needed. Then turn on the Don't Erase option in the Project Settings dialog. Adjust the Partial Erase Emitter's visibility value to control the amount of trails that are created. Lower the visibility to increase the trails and increase it to reduce the trails. Note that once visibility gets above 50% or so, it looks like Don't Erase isn't even checked. And if you decrease visibility too much, you'll see parts of the frame that don't get completely erased. A value around 10% seems to be best. There's really no magic to the partial erase emitter. It just draws black squares that are each larger than the stage. The only tricky part when creating it was getting the balance right between life, number of particles, and visibility. I don't know that I've actually determined the best settings for it, but it seems to work. Please feel free to experiment with the settings, and if you find better values, please let me know. Note that when you use the Don't Erase option, you can't use a background image or movie, as drawing the image or movie frame erases what was there previously. I think that there are probably some optimal settings to get a better partial erase emitter. For instance, I noticed that with some emitters there seems to be a little flickering caused by the partial erase emitter, which you probably can't see here. You can reduce or eliminate that flicker by modifying the transparency gradient so the particles fade in and out. Although I've been working on a black background, you can work on other background colors too, but you'll need to change the partial erase emitter. For example, here I have a white background. I need to open the Emitter Properties dialog and adjust the Partial Erase Emitter's tint color to white, then set the tint strength to 100%, and now I'm leaving trails on white. If you're working with a larger stage size, you may need to increase the size of the Partial Erase Emitter so it covers the entire stage. Finally, one limitation of Don't Erase is that you can't save an alpha channel in your output so you'll have to find other ways of compositing your rendered particles when using this trick. I'm Alan Lawrence of WonderTouch. Thanks for watching.